introduction. First, then. Actually, my name is uh, Dr. Koshit Sadar. I am uh, Deputy Director of Mind Safety in Medical. Basically, appointed as uh, Medical Inspector of Mines for South Central Zone, based at Hyderabad. Basically, what we in our department is Director General of Mine Safety. Our department enforces Mines Act and other Mines legislations, basically for enforcing safety and health provisions for the mine employees. I looked after, look after the health part. Um, basically, medical inspectors enforces health and medical provisions as stipulated in the legislation for the employees working in the mines. Employees includes all kinds of employees, starting from the casual worker up to the general manager. Except owner, everybody will treat as employee. Basically, I look after the health issues related to the work. That is, the people during their occupation, during working in the mines or associated industries, they come across any health related issues, any health problems, how to analyze the hazards, how to minimize the hazards, how to screen the employee who are subjected to the hazards, how to diagnose their uh, diseases, and once diagnosis, how to treat them earliest, and when treated, how to adequately compensate and rehabilitate them. This is basically our comprehensive uh, uh, aspect of our job. And there is, Government of India has legislated certain acts called Mines Act and certain rules and regulations in this regards. As per the stipulations of the legislations, we enforce the laws related to the health and safety. I, being medical inspector, I look after the health aspect. Actually, uh, safety and health has got a very thin uh, boundary. When you talk about safety, it is basically prevention of injuries and protection of the property. When you talk about health, it is prevention of illnesses. So, the causative factors which increases the potential to harm human beings is basically the hazard. Now, hazard can cause injury, hazard can cause illnesses. Hazards which causes injury we call safety risk. Hazards which are causing illnesses we call health risk. I mainly take after, look after the health risk. Try to analyze them, try to minimize them. If cannot minimize how to protect the protect, uh, employees from those hazards and then medical surveillance, medical treatment and finally rehabilitation and compensation as provided in our law, law of the land. And government, whenever government enact any law, any act, government uh, constitutes a department for enforcement of that law. For example, we have Motor Vehicle Act. We have the RTA, Regional Transport Authority, for implementation of that. Government has enacted Factories Act. Government has constituted a Directorate of Factories for enforcement of that. Similarly, government has enacted Mines Act. Under Mines Act, there are several regulations called Coal Mines Regulations, Metal Mines Regulations, Oil Mines Regulations, Mines Rules, Mines vocational training rules, mines rescue rules, mines crash rules, etc. For enforcement of this group of laws, government has constituted a department which is called Director General of Mine Safety. It is under Government of India, Ministry of Labor and Enforcement. Uh, uh, labor and Employment. Uh, so I am a part of that department. I look after the health issues. And appointed as a medical group medical inspector. And I enforce the medical provisions of all these laws for prevention of health issues for employees working in the mines. Apart from conducting camps, is there any mass training to the employees in the mining sector? Exactly. It is. It is. Uh, employees are uh, given training in the mine premises. Normally, that is being organized by the respective employees. We facilitate, we promote uh, those activities safety trainings, then health awareness camps, then awareness regarding the health hazards.
for example there is a hazard called dust how to prevent them from the honda dust what are the uh, ways that dust generation can be minimized uh, whenever there is a dust how to protect uh, the employees from uh, from the dust what are the uh, personal protective equipments what will happen to the employees if not protected from the dust all these awareness programs we conduct basically you facilitate the employee to do uh, uh, employers respective companies to do that but we facilitate our department has got a facilitation come promotional activities for uh, doing that how the employee feedback is conducted camps in organizing such kind of programs we can to might be you people get the feedback yes initially let me see uh, to be very frank uh, this was a in our country this was an elected area in comparison to the developing countries in our country general feeling is that uh, whatever in front of us let us deal with that for example there is accident people are suffering bleeding in front of us we we'll let them first <coughs> but maybe by doing that we are just protecting two three or a group of people health issues are such issues it takes long long time but in due course maybe hundreds and thousand people are affected but our mind our concern does not go towards that because it is not happening suddenly it is not coming uh, as a big blow to us it is happening gradually so in our country always health issues are put behind uh, get 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 little less priority but now things are uh, looking up people have become more aware awareness level has come also people are becoming more concerned Uh, about health issues earlier when you used to talk about uh, the health issues to the worker they used to say sab pehle zinda rahenge tab na pehle kamayenge tab na agar kamayenge nahi to health rahega kya karenge they did not think agar healthy nahi rahega kamake kya karna so we used to put that in our mind are bhai zinda nahi rahoge to kamao kiske liye aur paisa leke kya karoge earlier they used to think other way around ye theek hai zinda hai health acha hai lekin kama nahi payenge to kya fayda so we used to uh, put in uh, in their head ki first is health nothing is bigger asset than health once you are protected health wise then only you can earn you can look after your family and you can live uh, much more happier so now that awareness level has gone up but uh, still we have got a long way to go in developed nations we have ayush nikol mishra some yes. kind of uh, yes. awarding bodies with fire and safety and all yeah. uh, health yeah. catches yeah health safety and all that is there any such kind of thing in our nation that, uh, the government no basically what is osha osha is just like our directorate of actrates osha is a regulatory authority in us yeah which so look, uh, looks after safety and health but in us there is a single body which looks after all kinds of safety and health in all kinds of occupations here there is a directorate of actrates separate director general mine safety is separate then directorate of railway security is separate director general civil aviation is separate or are looking after safety and health but different bodies for different uh, professions or different kinds of occupation in us there is only single body that is osha that is basically just we are doing for the mines they are doing for the factories and all other kinds of uh, occupation for mines they also have a separate body in us that is called msha mines and safety health administration but only for mines they have separate but for all other kind of occupation starting from hotel to road and road safety to building construction <coughs> to factories to chemical industries everything for they have got a single body that is called osha that is basically statutory authority they inspect the mine they inspect the premises for violation they penalize they prosecute the employer <coughs> similar to what we do <coughs> in our country for the mines or directorate of factory does for the factories so in india problem is that the laws are too many too many laws too many departments to enforce the law sometimes there is overlapping of enforcement sometimes there is confusion regarding the authority of a uh, department for example regarding the safety and health uh, in the mines only sometimes pollution control board comes into picture <coughs> sometimes indian bureau of mines who is basically mandated to look after the conservation of mineral part they comes into picture sometimes we come into picture and sometimes there are associated industries attached to the mines for example for coal mines there is a coal crushing unit coal screening unit uh, then 
for iron ore, iron ore mine, there is iron ore pellet making uh, industry. They are who will enforce? So, the Dietroda factory will enforce, who will enforce, or somebody else will enforce. That is a big confusion. Those things are not there in development countries. That the laws are very simple. Laws are complete, conspicuous, and enforcement authority is also very clearly specified. There is no overlapping, no confusion, and no lot many uh, agencies. If some organization is really doing something for the society and on a non-profitable basis, yes, non then it is supported by the government sometimes. But you have to ensure it is for non-profitable basis, not for making profit, number one. And number two, exclusively for the benefits of the uh, down rottens in the society who are, for example, contractual workers. They are hardly paid anything. They hardly have got any healthcare facility. They hardly have got any incentives. They are basically the exploited group of the society. So the NGOs and sometimes some healthcare providers also, so working for that particular section, are supported and uh, promoted by government. There are schemes from the Ministry of Labor itself. Message from your side to the 99 TV viewers on health and safety. See, the only message I can give is that people should think health at their highest priority at all levels. Though health is not a visible subject, it is totally invisible, but it is highly important. Once somebody is healthy, then only he can exist in a society. Uh, uh, in a country or uh, his existence is justified. Unless he is healthy, his existence cannot be justified. And as far as worker's health is concerned, I think people should be more aware regarding the worker's health because workers are our greatest, greatest asset. <coughs> Machines we can buy, we can sell, we can do away with, but workers we can neither get nor we can dispose of it. They are our greatest asset. They are only moving our industry, our economy, our nation as a whole. So worker health should be given the highest priority by any sections of the society, whether it is society, NGO or the government. Sir, uh, we, this channel is uh, specifically working on education and health. So your golden words for the channel about the initiative taken by the channel. Yes, I think there is a very good initiative. There are hardly first time I am coming across any channel who is exclusively uh, taking care of the health and safe health and educational issues. This kind of initiatives are really required in our country. Most of the channels are only for profit making and for soap operas, uh, for um, just uh, entertaining people and making profit out of it. Okay. Those things are also maybe important, but uh, there are very few channels who are taking care of such uh, important issues and neglected issues like uh, safety, health and education. So, I have, uh, wish all my best and I think whatever possible at my end, I will try to do for promotion of this channel.